performance, looking for some consistency out of Puma. Throw here on first down, rolling out to his right, has a man downfield. It's Mickey Crum, the tight end, caught at the 41. Cards two for seven on fourth down this year. Pass is going to throw. Wobbly ball down the middle of the field. It's incomplete, and Crum was the intended receiver, but you could tell he got spun around, and it lands incomplete. Georgia Tech takes over on downs. See these Louisville defenders get cut a bunch tonight. It is Marshall on the key, finds a seam, finds a lane, all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Well, that was a well-used timeout. A 33-yard run for Taquan Marshall and Georgia Tech. Shoulders, you mentioned the consistency. Do everything just a little bit better. Yeah. Under the flag for Trey Smith. He is hit, gets out of a tackle. It's back to the original line of scrimmage. And then the ball came out. Georgia Tech says they have it. And they do. Charlie Thomas. Two short fields for Georgia Tech offensively. Yeah, turnover on downs and then a fumble. Now to Quan Marshall on the pitch. Clinton Lynch. Georgia Tech trying to make the Cardinals pay on this second series. To Quan Marshall cuts it up again. Finds some running room and gets to the 10 yard line. It's going to be first down and goal to go for the Yellow Jackets. And that's Howard again. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. It's Taquan Marshall on the key, his second touchdown. And the turnover again comes back to Hunt Louisville. They're playing great so far tonight. We're starting field position for Georgia Tech tonight, but it doesn't seem to matter. Look at that running room for Taquan Marshall. Rips off 14 on first down. He's doing a fantastic job so far this evening. Late pitch. Good decision, Searcy. A lot of room, and he gets to the 21-yard line. Quay Searcy, the speedy senior A-back, picks up 25, and it's a Georgia Tech first down. Clay, there's a little, there's a little beauty to watching this option kind of unfold. This is what they do. They are good at possessing the football. Touchdown, Jordan Mason. His fourth rushing touchdown of the year, and... It is all Georgia Tech here in Louisville tonight. He said, here comes his own blitz. Pressure coming. Pass able to get it downfield and complete it to his best receiver, Jalen Smith. Needs to live. Second and three. That's a first down. Hall gets inside the 30-yard line. Here's what's going on post-snap. One of the keys tonight, Tony Woody, was get to the quarterback. They've done a pretty good job of that, making Puma uncomfortable. As I say that, he hits the receiver in stride. It's Atwell for the touchdown. 2-2 Two -two Atwell. First career touchdown grab. 29-yard strike from pass, and Louisville is on the board. And this is Jerry Howard, another first down run for the Yellow Jackets. Play, you mentioned the noise. That's on Jerry Howard. He's the fake man. Big run again for Taquan Marshall. Inside the 30, steps out inside the 25 at the 23 yard line. That's a gain of 30. First career field goal attempt. Bingo. Virginia Tech had another great game similar to last week's. This Puma pass, he threw a touchdown on his last series. Completes this throw out across the 40 to 2 2 Atwell, where he's went from Montgomery, Alabama. And he's going to run it. Cuts it up on the near side, and he gets to the sideline inside the 40 yard line. Especially up front, all seniors starting on the defensive line. Trey Smith has the first down and a few yards more. First down goal to go to the five yard line. Trey Smith. Google pops a run and there's not enough defenders there. Well play the drive. Smith. Touchdown Cardinals. Cardinals. 
how Louisville has climbed back into this football game. Virginia Tech quarterback. He'll pitch it out near side. Nathan Cottrell. Good run, and that's another first down to the 40-yard line of Louisville. Foster's has shown off his ability to block. Now here's Marshall looking to throw. Still looking to the sideline. It's caught. Brad Stewart. And the first completion for the Yellow Jackets. Cersei. Way Cersei just sashays into the end zone. Georgia Tech with an impressive scoring drive. Very good football coach. Incredibly potent on offense. We've mentioned how young they are. That's part of it, no doubt. Nice catch by Devontae Pete. The six foot six junior who 46 yard attempt for Creaky. He has seven straight makes going back to last year. You bet. Comes up. Aces for Louisville. At the end of the first half, they get three points. 31-17 at the break. Marshall's gotten downhill a lot of times. That's forced his hand with some decision makings. It allows him to protect it just a little bit more. There's Mason. Wow. To the 39-yard line. He's tipping the scales right around 400 pounds. A true freshman. Jordan Mason rips up another good run for the Yellow Jackets. As we they pitch it to Cersei. Cersei lunges into the end zone. And the Yellow Jackets score again. Entire offense and throughout the entire team, and they got to start doing it quickly. Oh, ball comes out as I say that, and Georgia Tech has recovered. Turnover. And Charlie Thomas has his second fumble recovery of the night. And Adams knocked it loose. Thomas recovers second turnover for Louisville here tonight. Now, Jerry Howard on the run to the 22-yard line. The junior center, preseason all-conference. He's back off injury, not healthy. Marshall, we're going to mark him down at about the half-yard line. Man, we'll take this snap. And it will be Oliver with a thank you very much touchdown. And that's his sixth rushing touchdown of the year. He has been terrific in limited playing time. Back here in Louisville as Georgia Tech starts the fourth quarter just like they have started every other quarter. Tobias Oliver with a big play. Boy, this rushing offense for Georgia Tech has not been slowed up one bit by the Cardinals. Sturgill finally made the tackle, but it's a huge run of 65 yards. So he comes in to Quan Marshall, nicked up a little bit earlier tonight. Jordan Mason on this run inside the 10. Just let it go, just let it go. So first down, goal to go for Georgia Tech to buy. That's really something Georgia Tech struggled in. This is going to be, they lost about seven games in a row on the road. Oliver caps another scoring drive. Not tonight. Not going to happen tonight. That streak's going to end tonight. All tied to this incredible offense. Ford here on fourth down, and they should, and then spinning out of a tackle, that's Fitzpatrick, and he'll waltz into the end zone for a touchdown. Des Fitzpatrick spun right out of the arms of the defender, and goes 43 yards for the touchdown. <laughs> Logan, Utah is a beautiful place. Out to the 41, that's Tobias Oliver. Trajectory off it, a little tempo off it, and... Like I said earlier, he's taken the, the reins of an offense that said, we want to be able to throw it a little bit better and utilize our weapons around us. Huge test Saturday night. Georgia Tech has a lot of weapons. This is Amari Jarrett getting his first touch of the night. Executed such a high level. This was going to be at least close to the storyline of the game. Jerry Howard with his second rushing touchdown of the year. Well, here's my thing. Puma pass. One, had a good night. Two, you're trying to get him some confidence, right? So let him finish this game. Well, 
Jordan Travis. Looking like Lamar Jackson getting out to the 41 yard line on that run. Sitting for the year, learning everything about college life, college football, living away from home, everything like that, and not having the burden of playing football and trying to win games. Travis out at the 11. There's reason to be high on this kid. I just would have loved to have seen him sit and have the opportunity to throw. That's intercepted, and this will go back to the house. Wanye Thomas dropped an interception moments ago. This one he will catch and bring back 81 yards. Yeah, third down where they kind of ran a little option for him. He got around the edge. Nice play. All three quarterbacks have played then for the Cardinals. There's a reception by Harrell. That is going to be a headache of a week prep-wise. Travis to the end zone. Caught by Atwell in double coverage. Nice catch by the freshman. Give the fans who are still here reason to cheer. The yard second most in school history. Record-setting night in a lot of ways for this offense and then a, a tough one for the Louisville defense. As Georgia Tech's going to get its first ACC win, they're one and two in the league. But a three and three overall. Louisville falls to two and four, zero oh and three in the ACC. Their first three-game losing streak since the end of 2016.